Hi there, in this video we're going to be looking at the compressor in Logic Pro 10.1. So what we're going to look at in this video is some of the stuff that's actually been made a lot more accessible, a lot more intuitive, so parallel compression, some sidechain filtering, and there's also a new model included in this compressor now, and that's the classic VCA model. So for starters, I'm going to listen to this drum loop here. It's a drummer region here, it's the tech house kind of loop and let's look at compressing this drummer track or drum track using the compressor and accessing some of the stuff that's actually a lot more accessible now. And one of the things that's great about this compressor is previously with Logic's compressor you had six compressors but you weren't really aware of the fact that you had six different compressors to access because it all looked the same, the Platinum, the Studio VCA, the FET, it all looked identical apart from this little drop down so I think the majority of people would have just always kept it on Platinum but now you really know where you are, you know you're in this FET, it looks like an 1176, the Platinum version, the Vintage VCA, looks a little bit more like an SSL bus compressor, you know, so you're going to probably reach for these different types of compressor a lot more now and this new one, the classic VCA which has been modelled on the DBX160 so let's have a look at applying some parallel compression to this drum track so what we're going to do with this parallel compression is we're going to go quite extreme with the settings and then we're going to dial down the mix so I'm going to bring this threshold down here and increase this ratio to about three to one, and I'm getting about ten, and I'm getting about ten dB of compression now, which is a bit extreme. Just really squashing this drum loop. But what we can do here is, even in this default mode, you just have this mix slider, very accessible, no hidden menus or anything like that. Mix slider, and let's just dial this down to about twenty-two percent. So we're applying 10 dB of compression, however we're changing the mix down to 22% so we're, only, we're blending a mix of that compressed signal in there. And I'm going to measure the output gain, I'm going to match it to exactly what it was before so we can measure this compression what we've applied here. So 7.5.3, so the auto gain is actually on here so it's kind of it's matched the output for us already so we can just switch this on and off and hear what this is doing it's making it sound a lot more punchy it's increasing the transient on some of those drum hits it's actually softened the low end on the kick drum and it's actually bringing down the sustain of some of those drum hits you notice on the classic VCA we don't have attack or release controls it's still great for drums it still makes it sound really punchy but the attack and release controls are kind of set automatically so we can just dial in some really nice parallel drum compression there you know softening some of the tails taking the some of the weight out of that kick drum so the base of the kick drum doesn't mud up the mix so very nice we switch over to this graph here and we get a nice view of what what's happening the knee that's being applied here and how we're compressing those peaks in that low frequency and we could actually change this view right up to 200% which is crazy how big it goes and you get a real kind of nice view of you know this graph what's happening how many dBs of compression we're applying and stuff 